The Somaliland authorities have extended a pardon to the anti-government fighters who had taken refuge in the Ga'anlibah mountains, effectively bringing an end to a protracted electoral disagreement. The Ministry of Internal Affairs of Somaliland issued a statement on Tuesday, confirming the government's decision and declaring the matter closed. Last week, a committee comprising of respected traditional elders successfully mediated an agreement between the government and opposition groups, providing a much-needed resolution to the long-standing election dispute that had plagued the nation. At the heart of the political discord between the government and the opposition lay the disagreement over the sequencing of the election of political organizations and the presidential election. President Moussa Bihi had advocated for the election of political organizations to precede the presidential election a position that had been met with reluctance from the opposition. However, a crucial breakthrough was achieved as the committee determined that both the elections for political organizations and the presidential post would be conducted on the same day, specifically on November 13th of 2024. This decision aimed to ensure a fair and inclusive electoral process that would enable the participation of all political stakeholders. As part of the negotiated agreement, the immediate dissolution of the anti-government rebels was also stipulated, a condition that the opposition accepted. In return, the government pledged to grant pardons to the rebels, offering them an opportunity to reintegrate into society and contribute positively to the nation's progress. Furthermore, the clan to which the anti-government rebels belong has been instructed to provide compensation to the families of the 10 soldiers who lost their lives in attacks against government forces. Additionally, the rebels have been directed to hand over their weapons and vehicles to the government, ensuring the restoration of peace and security in the region. The anti-government rebel leaders have expressed that their decision to take up arms was a response to President Moussa Bihi's refusal to hold the election and the use of force against demonstrators who were demanding timely polls. With the resolution of the electoral dispute and the government's commitment to conducting the elections as scheduled, the rebel leaders have now chosen the path of reconciliation and peaceful coexistence.